Excessive gas, also known as flatulence, is a common condition and usually nothing to worry about. This happens when your digestive system produces or accumulates more gas than usual. However, in some cases, excessive gas may be a symptom of an underlying condition. Here are some possible causes. Dietary factors. Certain foods and drinks may increase gas production. Common culprits include beans, lentils, cabbage, onions, carbonated drinks, and artificial sweeteners. Some people are lactose intolerant. This means you may have trouble digesting lactose, the sugar found in milk and dairy products, which can cause excessive gas. Swallowing air. You may swallow air while eating, drinking, or even talking. This is especially true if you eat quickly, chew gum, or drink through a straw. This air can build up in your digestive tract and cause gas. Gastrointestinal disorders. Conditions such as irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, inflammatory bowel disease, IBD, celiac disease, and gastroenteritis can cause chronic gas and bloating. Constipation. When stool builds up in the colon, it can cause excessive gas and bloating. Small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, SIBO. SIBO occurs when the number of bacteria in the small intestine increases abnormally. These bacteria can produce excess gas, causing symptoms such as bloating and diarrhea. Food intolerance. In addition to lactose intolerance, some people have intolerances to other substances, such as fructose, found in fruit, or sorbitol, an artificial sweetener, which can cause gas and bloating. Digestive disorders. Disorders that affect the digestion and absorption of nutrients, such as pancreatic insufficiency or gastroparesis, can cause gas-related symptoms. Changes in gut flora. Changes in the balance of gut bacteria can lead to increased gas production. FAQs on signs of excessive gas. What causes excessive gas in the digestive system? Excessive gas or flatulence can be caused by a variety of factors, including diet choices, swallowing air, gastrointestinal upset, constipation, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, SIBO, food intolerances, and changes in gut flora. Are certain foods more likely to cause excessive gas? Yes, foods such as beans, lentils, cabbage, onions, soda, and artificial sweeteners are known to increase gas production. Some individuals are lactose intolerant and therefore sensitive to dairy products. Can swallowing air cause excessive gas? Yes, swallowing air when eating, drinking, or talking can cause gas to build up in your digestive tract and cause bloat. When is excessive gas a concern? Excessive gas is generally harmless, but if it is accompanied by other symptoms such as persistent abdominal pain, changes in bowel habits, weight loss, or blood in the stool, it may indicate an underlying health problem and should be evaluated by a medical professional. Can excessive gas be caused by a gastrointestinal disorder, such as irritable bowel syndrome, IBS? Yes, conditions such as IBS, inflammatory bowel disease, IBD, and gastroenteritis can cause chronic gas and bloating due to disruption of the normal functioning of the digestive system. How is excessive gas diagnosed? Diagnosis often includes a review of the medical history, a physical examination, and sometimes additional testing, such as a hydrogen breath test to check for lactose intolerance or SIBO, or an endoscopic procedure to rule out gastrointestinal disorders. Can changing your diet help reduce excess gas? Yes. Avoiding gas-producing foods high in fiber or artificial sweeteners can help relieve excessive gas. Keeping a food diary can help you identify your specific triggers. What health conditions can cause excessive gas due to changes in gut flora? Illnesses such as diabetes, certain autoimmune diseases, and gastrointestinal infections can upset the balance of bacteria in your gut, potentially increasing gas production. Can stress and anxiety cause excessive gas? Yes, stress and anxiety can affect digestion and cause symptoms such as bloating and gas in some individuals.